Hello crafters, this is Suzanne for Cat Scrappiness. And I am here today with two cards. One for Father's Day. Well, you could really say both for Father's Day, but I just wanted to show you different styles featuring this awesome summer quokka stamp and matching die set. Do you have to get the matching dies? No, but me and the curves. Just in case you don't like cutting curves either. Great match and die, great price point too on both. But before we get started on the cards, I just wanted to let you guys know that this Memorial Day weekend, Cat is having a sale, 15% off site-wide using the code MEMDAY22. She also has a pre-order for the hashtag Ukraine Strong set. That will be released on June 3rd. So you can go ahead and pre-order that set. So along with the hashtag Ukraine Strong release, 100% of the proceeds in the month of June will go to the Ukraine Crisis Relief Fund. You're getting these awesome stamps, die, and paper pack to make cards and also contributing for some well-needed aid over there in the Ukraine, all right? It's a win-win. Now onto my video. Yes, a Father's Day card featuring Kat's awesome Father's Day die. Happy Father's Day. This is not a new die, but guess what? It's a good one, and I've had it for a while. It's roughly three and a quarter inch tall by little bit over three and three quarter inch wide and I am also using summer quokka now my father has passed away but he lived in the Cayman Islands so I came up with this idea of doing a Father's Day card these two quokkas are my dad on the beach <laughs> so <laughs> I'm gonna show you one finished card and then one that I am going to make here real quick with you guys and I also used one of Kat's enamel dots as well. This one, red, white, and blue. Perfect for the 4th of July. Alrighty, so check these out. And I will put the names of each item below that I'm showing you that's available in her awesome store. Alrighty, crafters. Let's take a closer look. Let's get started. Here is my Father's Day card. I took a cloud stencil from my stash. I took some inks out my stash in this kind of uh, turquoise and blue color way and used my ink blending brush with the cloud stencil. Here now is the quokka that I colored up with some Copic markers. This colorway is E30 markers, if you're curious about which shade of brown that is. I used some blues here and then of course the yellows. I think it turned out pretty cute. Here is the Happy Father's Day. Now, I was thinking of, I might leave it like this. And what you're looking at, if you're looking at that ombre effect of the Happy Father's Day, that's actually this same ink. I had ink blending paper and just inked on light, you know, this turquoise coming down into the darker turquoise and then put the dye on the top and cut it out. And this is all popped up. The shadow was in white. I think I might put glossy accents on this. Not 100% sure. I kind of like it, you know, maybe not so glossy. But if you want it to be glossy, then go ahead. Mother's Day, I probably would have definitely just went straight for the glossy. But I'm thinking for a masculine card, maybe you don't need a glossy. But I think it turned out cute. Now, originally my plan was to have the quokka at the bottom in a scene. But when I had finished the sentiment, and this is on like a five by seven card base. So this is a bigger card base because I wanted to enjoy the clouds. Oh, instead of putting the quokka down here, I put it up here and I think it turned out cute up the top. What do you guys think? <laughs> and then this is a different set of enamel dots. This is Kat's teal set of enamel dots to go with this one, but I'm going to use this set for the next card that I'll show you now. Alrighty. Cute. And then here I used, um, this sort of a turquoise ocean blue 110 pound cardstock. I'm liking it. What do you guys think for Father's Day, all right? And her stamps are high quality photopolymer stamps. And, and here this, you can see I've had some more stamped images ready to go to color up. It also comes with the matching die. So I just used the die to cut out the umbrella. You know, dad sitting on the chair with a drink in the Cayman Islands. He would have loved this. So I'm channeling that island vibe for Father's Day. And then here's the Father's Day die. Let's now put together another version of this card using Kat's Happy Summer sentiment. So Happy Summer measures four and a quarter inch wide by 
two and a quarter inch tall. Super duper cute. So you can see this one's just a little bit taller. So this time now I'm using Craft 5 by 7 card base. And here, what I did different this time. The first time when I did it, I just wanted to show you this colorway, but to keep it more like the standard way would just be the blues. Have a light blue here, transition to the next blue using a cloud stencil. And this time I did splatter. Well, on this one, you can see the splatter too. That's white splatter. So I just wanted to play around with doing a blue splatter. That's the beauty of card making. You can do one card one way, then you have an idea. You're like, ah, put it on the next one, right? right. <laughs> so let me go ahead and remove the tape backing so I kind of have this prep to go. So after removing the tape backing on my double-sided tape, I'm going to stand up. Always check the opening of your card, that your card opens the right way so you don't stick it up like this because look at the way that the clouds are going. So you have to have the orientation correct. So always just double-check yourself just to make sure that you have your orientation right. Let me come here. I'm standing up now because I have to center this. I don't want to put my head in the way. So this is just a hair short. I'll give you a measurement on. There we go. Cute. So this is now white splatter and like a kind of a blue metallic splatter. Let me tell you what the splatter is. Six and three quarter inch tall by four and three quarter. So this is a quarter inch short of the five by seven, okay? Next, so this is the happy summer. So this one I'm trying to keep even more masculine than this one. I decided to go more darker blue and I think it turned out real pretty. What do you guys think? This is navy cardstock, but yes, I did put glitter, but it's like a light blue glitter. I think it's so pretty though. Nice colorway. I may explore this one again for other stuff. <laughs> And I did use my um, adhesive sheet for this, for my sanity. <laughs> so let me stand up now. Because I am, now I know for sure I'm going to put, and this is the other image. So I had dad in the chair. Now I have dad with the surfboard. So I'm going to put him here. The good thing about using an adhesive sheet is that you do get a little moment where you can lift it if you don't like it. See how it's not completely down yet? which is nice. All right, so we have the Happy Summer, and here is the other Coca from the stamp set. Super cute. I tell you, this little summer set is just great for beach vacation. I've used her in another card before in the hut and everything, but here is, is these two that I use, and they're pretty easy to color. Same E30 markers. Here I put foam on the back. As you can see, lots of foam. Let me remove the backing, and I'm gonna put this one in the center, covering right that little spot there. There we go, like so. And there you have it, card done, if you wanna stop here. But of course, I wanted to go a little extra. <laughs> That's where the enamel dots come into play. I am thinking, should I do white? I think I like the white or the blue. See, options, love options. This instance, I'm gonna go with the white because I have so much, um, so much blue going on. And I love these enamel dots because you get the, you know, small, medium, large, small, medium, large. Yeah, yeah. The top part, I think I'm going to put some here by the surfboard. I'm going to do, and I like to do them in threes. You know, the rule of threes in crafting. Odd number, more pleasing to the eye. There we go. I could put more, should I? I think I'm going to stop here because I have all that splatter going on. But what do you guys think? So we have, just from one stamp set, two cards. You could do another one. That would be th three separate. You don't have to use all three images. I did use, I believe you could use this definitely on a slimline because you could do a whole scene. But just here alone, one, it already tells a story. It's the beach. It's summer. Hey, Father's Day. Dad is happy. <laughs> and then some of Kat's awesome word dies. All righty. And finish it off. Add that finishing touch with either these transparent enamel dots or her solid color, both of them. Fabulous. I just love that they're the different sizes too. Alrighty, crafters. So check out Cat Scrappiness. Check out her Memorial Day sale. So this could even fit Memorial Day too if we had something different here for the sentiment, but hey, it works. <laughs> Alrighty, crafters, until the next video. Check out all the rest of the great videos here on the Cat Scrappiness channel from all of her awesome design team members. And also check out her blog too. And there's a new release coming. Yay! 
And don't forget to check out the Ukraine Strong. You can pre-order that. Alrighty, crafters, until the next video. Stay crafty, my friends. Bye.